and none other than our mayor, Mayor J. Christian Bowles, who is by far um, one of the most cutting edge mayors in uh, the state of New Jersey, who's also very active on the national scene, um, a strong advocate for community development. <laughs> A strong advocate for community development, economic development, um, good government, good governance. Um, his advocacy has, you know, lauded him time and time in the paper. He wants to be excited, but I'm not, because he really um, understands what it means to run a city, um, a diverse city like the city of Elizabeth, with about 200 different languages and many cultures coming together to be one, to be the mayor of um, Elizabeth, where New Jersey first began 350 years ago, says a lot. So let's give him a hand as he comes. Union County Freeholders, Angel Estrada and Sergio Granados are here. My fellow mayor from our neighboring city, Mayor Angela Garrison from Hillside. Members of our Board of Education, Maria Carvalho, Jose Rodriguez, Stanley Neron, Charlene Bathis, Anna Maria Mean. I thank all of you for coming. Members of the City Council, honored guests, friends, family, and residents of our great city. You know, community connections and foundations are for information sharing, creating partnerships, and strengthening relationships, meeting the needs and the demands through technology. They function as the catalyst for creative approaches and solutions for a more stronger and accessible city. And as technology has evolved, we are providing agency connections and the latest information at your fingertips. The Parking Authority has launched a new Mobile Now application. It includes pay-by-phone features, available via download smartphones, for use at over 400 parking meters, increasing convenience and options, and leaving more time to enjoy all that our city has to offer. Innovation, new products, enables us to implement upgrades. We think outside the box, or in the case of Midtown, add the more effective box. Replacing single meters, enabling payment by debit, credit cards, bills, different denominations, available in multiple languages. The process has reduced inefficiencies and enabled modernized services to be introduced. And improving connections, integrating technology, provides our community with the resources they need. Gone are the days when you had to wait for access to the library, to learn, to be informed, or broaden your horizons. The app offered by the Elizabeth Public Library allows you to look at the newest release book, renew items already checked out, and search for programs, classes, and events. This new app connects you to the library seven days a week, 365 days, anywhere, anytime. Rethinking the approaches to information sharing are how connections within our community are reinforced. Traditional access and standard operating hours no longer satisfy the challenging schedules of our hardworking residents. As part of a successful pilot program, the Elmora branch of the Elizabeth Public Library opened its doors for the first time ever on Sundays in October. This fulfilled request for weekend services embraced the fact 
that non-conventional accommodations must be introduced because life does not only happen during the week. Whether it is through innovative technology or finding more ways to increase outreach and raise awareness, connecting with residents is how we improve upon what is good and achieve what we know can be great. Making services available is not enough. If the community does not know how to connect with the assistance being offered. You know, when the initial deadline was approaching to enroll for the Affordable Care Act, multilingual certified navigators were trained by this city and they were on hand to help the residents. They provided guidance. They have enabled potentially life-saving connections. And at the end of the year was approaching, there were some within our community that had not enrolled. But they may have wanted to renew or change their current plan. So Enroll Elizabeth was presented as a free event in conjunction with Shaping Elizabeth, Get Covered America, Planned Parenthood, Health Insurance, SRA International, the YWCA and WellCare, providing one-on-one -on -one interactions with qualified professionals who answered questions, explained the benefits, their rights, the protections that were offered within each plan, and together with community members, hundreds were assisted with registration, ideas were shared, and how we more effectively connect with residents. Our public health nurses provide the protections that many in our city need to stay well, maintain their strength, live full and productive lives, help 344 clients at the STD clinic, administered over 600 adult flu shots, provided more than 700 immunizations. Early detection of life-threatening illnesses, especially cancer, can save lives. And therefore, in an effort to encourage overall healthy living, we in the City of Elizabeth give all of our employees four hours off to receive cancer screenings. We participate in the National Dress in Blue Day for colon cancer awareness, raise money for breast cancer awareness, held a Get Fit Day supporting the First Lady's Let's Move initiative, promoting more participation, and reinforcing our connections, two new senior buses were added this morning. We are providing residents with all the health department has to offer in a condensed service showcase. The first National Public Health Week was sponsored in partnership with health providers, community groups, testing, screenings, classes, connected attendees with dedicated professionals sharing knowledge and resources. And all of us know that smoking has been proven to have negative effects on the overall wellness. And talking about these dangers is one thing, but taking steps to prevent their impact throughout our community sends a message that we can lead by example. This city council adopted an ordinance to ban smoking on city property, including municipal parks, outdoor grounds, buildings, within city vehicles, recreational areas, owned, leased, or utilized by the city. And I want to thank the city council. We were the first in the state to do that ordinance. Created, <laughs> improving environments begins with addressing concerns. Our city inspectors continue to work hard, responded over 1,700 housing complaints, making sure action is taken to maintain health and safety. And through upgrades and enhancements, the Housing Authority has enriched lives by the installation of backup generators, Farley Towers, Kennedy Arms, new heating, hot water systems, completed kitchen renovations at Ravelac Manor. Connections are about finding out what matters, focusing on ways to deliver services in order to achieve goals and make a difference. 
providing the ability to hone skills, develop talents, and connect with others. The Recreation Department offers and supports free activities, events, dancing, arts and crafts classes, sports facilities, school programs. Hi, I'm Paul Lepesa, Recreation Director for the City of Elizabeth. Creating connections are important through music, dance, and sports. Our young people are being provided with opportunities to connect with the community, develop abilities, and reach their full potential. National Night Out connects all the great things our city has to offer. This event showcases some of our gifted residents along with exciting initiatives taking place in Elizabeth. Together, we are reinforcing and strengthening connections with our residents, departments and agencies, and our neighborhoods. In addition to the 18 playgrounds, they've operated seven spray fountains, five day camps, daily free lunch has been provided to over 1,400 children during July and August. And naturally, that Mickey Walker Spray Park saw another successful year. And through state-of-the-art projects and new programs, we are connecting the needs of our community with recreation services that expand locations to play, to sharpen skills, encourage interest, improve the quality of life for children and families. O'Brien Field is reopened. It's been transformed to the public to include a new synthetic turf soccer field, new playground equipment, a gazebo, and opening this summer, the new in-ground swimming pool at Exleven, providing a place to cool off, learn how to swim, stay healthy and fit, Later this year, there will be a new synthetic turf field for soccer up at Canal, spray fountain, sitting areas at Miller Evans Logan, a new spray park featuring lighting and equipment at Jackson Park. <laughs> Recreation can mean different things to different people. We embrace them all. For the past 11 years, Groundwork Elizabeth has spearheaded the Tour de Elizabeth. This year, we attracted more than 800 riders, highlighting the 350th anniversary of Elizabethtown and New Jersey. We connected bicyclists to our diverse neighborhoods, our exciting development, our new initiatives. Working with local partners, Groundwork has harvested fresh produce, connected with those in need to come grow with us, provided opportunities to green workforce, the youth green team, collaborating with community and stakeholders on a walkability study. Elizabeth. Hi, my name is Jonathan Phillips. I'm the executive director for Groundwork Elizabeth. Change places, change lives. Yeah, I'm Rucho and I graduated Alexander Hamilton Preparatory Academy in 2012. I am currently attending Rutgers University, majoring in applied environmental science, and I, I'm also the green team youth leader for Groundwork Elizabeth. Uh, you may have seen Groundwork Elizabeth all around. Uh, we have we are the main, the people who did the river trails uh, along with partners, and we also have urban farming projects going all around Elizabeth, and also most recently. but we always place the safety of our residents first. And an effort to ban fracking waste in this state was vetoed by the governor, but the decision to not continue placing our municipality at risk was immediate and clear. The connection between cost versus benefits was obvious. And once the inaction occurred in Trenton, it was time 
to make our decision official. We incorporated a legislative safeguard. It was the right thing to do for our residents today and the future of tomorrow's generations. And I want to thank the Elizabeth City Council for adopting an ordinance that bans fracking waste throughout our community, safeguarding our residents, securing the integrity of natural resources, and defending against harmful and byproducts and toxins. And I want to thank the Union County three owners, two of which are here today, who showed their support by passing a resolution banning fracking countywide. Supporting healthy neighborhoods, the Public Works Department has planted more than 200 trees throughout Union County, throughout Elizabeth. They've completed more than 7,400 hours of work through clean communities, connected with local churches and schools, provided assistance with recycling, special cleanup projects. Maintaining our streets includes enhancing and improving infrastructure to support current connections to services as well as future developments. The South Street Flood Control Project, new pumps, separate storm sewers, reducing flooding at Trumbull and Six Streets, road resurfacing, reconstruction, the rehabilitation of Recreation Pier and Veterans Memorial Park, and we're gonna bring back the fireworks on July 4th after that's completed. Design has been completed on the westerly intersect, increasing conveyance capacity through Midtown, improving sewer flow to the Trenton Avenue pumping station, cleaning more than 2,000 linear feet to remove sediment. The connections to our residents and visitors are, are trying to make are extremely important in increasing efficiency, timing, and responsive traffic systems. New signal improvements at Elizabeth Avenue and Jefferson, Elizabeth Avenue and Bridge Street, funded in part through the NJDOT Municipal Aid. <laughs> Ensuring that our transportation corridors operate at an optimum level is essential. <laughs> and this vision is applied at every opportunity. Advancements can generate a valuable return. Satisfaction is increased. Money is saved and opportunities can be made greener through the Department of Energy. A $2 million grant is being used to furnish and install roof-mounted solar systems at Mickey Walker and Exlater, Sampson and Peterstown Centers, emergency response and public works facilities. This funding will also provide solar-powered LED pedestrian signals, stop signs, mobile message boards, improving community connections. <laughs> solar power products are conserving energy, contributing to our Go Green initiatives. But everyone knows that climate change and change begins at home. So through a $1.76 million energy efficiency and conservation block grant, there will be LED lights at City Hall, police headquarters, creating brighter workspaces, reducing energy consumption and costs. And this grant is also funding HVAC at Peterstown, police headquarters, water conserving forces at City Hall. And in order to procure a state-of-the-art communication system that meets the needs and expands capabilities, a contract was awarded for the replacement of all telecommunication technology at city-owned facilities, enabling programmable night, weekend, holiday greetings, discretions, directions, hours of operation, public service announcements, sharing of voicemail with email, staying connected during non-traditional hours. We are also exploring how better connections can be made through a technologically advanced geographic information system. This will be linked to our website, accessible mobile from mobile devices and tablets, capability to define locations, specify criteria, implement layers, and with consistent updates, providing current and accurate data. In Innovation and technology provides avenues 
to enhance connections within the community, create new opportunities, provide services that meet expectations and support growth. And in New Jersey, we are going to have the first African American Cultural and Learning Center. It's been completed. It will open this month. It's been spearheaded by Simone Hope Cares and New Jersey Community Development Group. And this successful private public partnership features culinary arts, multimedia curriculum, art gallery, music studio, connecting with history, building foundations, and strengthening our city. <laughs> Creating connections is vital on every level, but when, when it comes to your health and your family, connecting to knowledgeable physicians, receiving effective treatment, having access to the latest innovation can be life serving The talented medical professionals at Trinitas Regional Medical Center continues to administer services, improve departments, and develop new locations to develop the best in healthcare. Breast Cancer Patient Navigation Program, helping more than 100 women, dedicated a new $5.2 million, 9,500 square foot ambulatory surgery center, began an $18 million renovation and expansion of emergency department, which will double the treatment beds and streamline care. This will be anticipated to be completed in 2017. We'll provide a better equipped emergency room and to accommodate 72,000 emergency visits each year. When you do not feel well or are facing challenges, everything in your life is impacted. It is during these times that support is most needed. Community Development Block Grant, CDBG, celebrated its 40th anniversary, and along with the Emergency Solutions Grant, continues to be a catalyst for change and for assistance. From help with childcare to job placement and training, CDBG continues to make the delivery of quality services possible within our neighborhoods. and focuses on having the children do physical activity every day. Always we work to our first making people safe, getting them off the streets, and then putting them in permanent housing. We have an emergency winter shelter. But probably the heart and soul of what we do is case management with the homeless, helping them get off the street into safety or keep their permanent housing. children um, who are placed in foster care. We recruit, screen, and train volunteers who advocate for their court. We serve uh, children from birth to age 21. We'd like to say happy 40th anniversary to the CDBG funding and let you know that our YMCA appreciates so much how you support our programming. Happy 40th anniversary CDBG and thank you for helping our city improve as well as transform lives within our community. The Retail Skills Center has transformed into the Workforce Innovation Business Center. Trained over 112 residents, helping 581 people secure jobs, the Elizabeth Development Company continued to build on last year's successful on-the-job training, providing job readiness skills, placing more than 70 people in meaningful employment. You know, it is New Jersey's fourth largest municipality. Space here, as you all know, is at a premium. The smart growth initiatives, increased housing, support for our growing populations is only part of the equation. In order to create successful and neighborhood connections, you need places that offer goods and services, drive the economy, keep business local. And the Elizabeth Avenue Partnership 
has helped transform one of our busiest streets into a thriving commercial corridor. And with diverse eateries and specialty shops, everyone has a favorite. Events and programs always draw a crowd. The avenue continues to attract businesses, showcasing the best that the market has to offer. Sidewalk sales, farmer's market, heritage festival, removing litter and graffiti through clean street and safe program, improving safety and security with extra duty walking patrol. There are a lot of choices to shop in our city, and our special improvement districts distinguish themselves by finding more ways to connect with the community. New initiatives include the Elizabeth Avenue Restaurant Tour, of which I'll be on, reimagining utility boxes by painting murals as part of the city art program, working with PSE&G to incorporate more lighting. Elizabeth Avenue had quite a year, and so has our Midtown SID, the annual car show, connecting vehicle enthusiasts, power washing initiative, restoring the appearance of shops, sign and facade program, helping stores better advertise, promoting a more uniform look, but connecting what is being done at home with the world requires us to find new mediums to market services, use technology as a platform to raise awareness, demonstrate through social media what people may be missing. And now, more than ever, connections are made online with thoughts and comments relayed, photos shared, updates provided through our Facebook, Twitter, Nixle, along with city and youth websites have become popular forums to exchange ideas, notify the community, stay connected. And we have Elizabeth's, a municipal Instagram as well, to highlight our efforts. Li local food, neighborhood participation. I even asked my daughter Jacqueline is here to make sure she follows us on Instagram. She's probably on it right now, I'm not paying attention to the speech. For our residents who may not be online but want to stay connected, a new 24-hour cable channel has been established. On channel 39, Fios 1, it will offer all day access to the services provided within the city of Elizabeth including our city television show, community boards, information about events and programs. Elizabeth is known for our historic significance, contributions as a transportation and economic hub, and notable figures who call our city their home. From Judy Bloom and Joe Long to Admiral William Halsey, many who were part of our community have gone on to achieve great things and through their efforts have touched the lives of millions. Although today they may live elsewhere, they, their connection to our community remains strong. And now a famous chef and restaurateur, it is that he had, that brought back Tom Colicchio back to star in our newest marketing video, which supports local dining establishments emphasizes that some of the greatest food can be found right here, best shared with friends and family. We're an American original, dependable, historic, nuanced, with all the comforts of home, even when you're just visiting. So we're celebrating for all that we've left untouched and all that we've changed, a place where the past meets the future. So consider this your invitation. We've been celebrating here in Elizabeth for 350 years, and we're just getting started. What? We had fun doing that commercial too, it's just so funny. When the Elizabeth Destination Marketing or or Organization, the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce, they've been generating and renewing interest in our city. They've created a brand identity, attracting new visitors, increasing hotels and shopping venues, and with more people going to the outdoor collection at Jersey Gardens and eating in our business districts, attending school, safety and security remain a priority. And this month, 
Four new police officers will be hired. All are veterans. Thank you. They have proudly served our country, and now they will proudly protect our city. Training has been increased to improve effectiveness, more hours in tactical decision making. 61 members have been certified to administer the life-saving drug Narcan in overdose situations. All people deserve to live long and productive lives. And when it comes to our youth, safeguards are helping to keep them on the right track and achieve success. The Juvenile Curfew Program provides assistance to reduce undesirable activity and working with the Recreation Department, counselors, and evening activities were made available at Exhaven and Miller Evans Logan, offering alternatives to have a positive impact on our community. And those services increase options, connect government and residents, and it really sets us apart. The Elizabeth Fire Department continues to connect with residents and meet the needs through education, inspections, response, and when an emergency call comes in, having the proper equipment and vehicles can make all the difference. In addressing issues, securing the scene, and determining the best course of action. This year, three new ambulances will be purchased for the fire department, increasing the current fleet, supporting emergency medical professionals, providing quicker and additional services. We are also better equipped to address hazardous material then, a foam delivery unit, chemical support unit, quick attack unit, all funded through port security grants. <laughs> Planning for the unexpected makes our city more prepared to provide the help that is needed. It includes enhancing our capacity to produce a rapid and powerful defense against fires. We have a 2,000 gallon per minute fire engine, trench rescue, extrication equipment, battery operated positive pressure fans, decreasing carbon monoxide exposure to our firefighters. It is because of projects, initiatives, advancement, sound financial planning, and the responsible application of resources that the Moody's Investor Service has affirmed the City of Elizabeth's upgrade to a AA3 rating with a positive outlook. And from our municipal departments to our local partners, and many of you are here today, we are building, reinforcing, improving connections to make our city more resilient, more prepared, more able to assist, Creating a connection is more than just extending a helping hand, directing someone, or having places to go. It is also about providing the personal attention, investing in our residents, applying innovation to improve accessibility and realize possibilities. President John F. Kennedy once said, efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. The state of our city is strong and we continue to serve with purpose to deliver results and move forward toward a bright and promising future. May God bless the city of Elizabeth. May God bless the United States of America.